today i'm going to be showing you guys how to turn an iphone picture into a cover art in photoshop uh yeah let's get straight into it the cover art we're going to be making today is more of a simple kind of cover art like a white background all right so this is the image we're going to be using um and yeah there's not really much you know done to it you know it's just a simple image you know no effects no nothing literally straight from the iphone i'm pretty sure first thing you want to do is if you're getting a bit of distortion here like looks really low quality what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download this app it's called upscale ai and you just want to get this and upscale it by like two times and it should be good it'll get rid of all that like noise all that artifacts all that shit once you have this upscaled version or if you know if it's straight from an iphone there shouldn't be any problem anyways what you want to do is you want to you know select subject here now it depends on the image for me uh sometimes if it's an image like this where it's picking up a lot of things i'll just select the subject that way you can press w and you can you know right click here go to quick selection uh tool here and if you hold alt you can just refine it a little bit and then if you let go of alt you know you can add it back in just in case it gets rid of it uh i'm gonna be doing this i'm a you know fast forward skip through this all right so once you have your you know image all selected control j and you know you can hide the background now right click on it make a smart object and then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to export as png and we're just going to call it whatever and then basically we're going to be running over to chat gpt we're going to be importing this image this is what i did with my cover so i'm just showing you guys basically the whole process of what i did just in case because i did get a lot of requests and shit like that all you gotta do is literally just drag it in create image and what I did was, I think it was turn him into a cracked porcelain um, statue. So once you have your ChatGPT as image, right, we're going to drag that shit in. All right, so once you have your image, bring it into Photoshop and we're going to remove the background just like so. Now you kind of want to line it up with him. We're going to bring the fill down a bit and we're just going to like line it up. Make it smaller, you know, do all that. All right, so this is good enough for me uh, because I'm only using like the half of his face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna like take this half with the lasso tool. So just go up here, right click, boom, polygon and lasso tool. And then control J, wait, let me merge this. Control J, boom, all right. Now we're going to go back onto, you know, the main image. We're going to erase, you know, the parts that we don't want to be seen. So it's hair. We're going to go into, um, we're going to go and make a mask for this layer here, the statue layer. And we're going to blend it in a little bit. So just bring your brush up, lower the opacity and kind of just like get to match a little bit like that. And then like the nose, it's not going to match. So well, we can make a match. Just go to warp bring the fill down a bit and we can just you know adjust it a little bit bring his eyes down like so the mouth is pretty much perfect so yeah something like that you know pretty much all good right there now you can you know just perfect it because i'm a bit of a perfectionist with some shit but just make sure it's all blended in you're gonna get this really sick effect now this isn't all we're gonna be doing we're gonna you know control g to group control j to you know duplicate control e to merge all right so once you have this you want to you know control t we're gonna move into the center we're gonna like rotate a little bit just have it like this Hide the layer here. We're gonna merge everything into one layer. Hide it. All right, now we have this. Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab the ruler tool. Uh, if you guys don't see this, by the way, just press control or uh, it will pop up. And then just bring the, just make sure it snaps, you know. Now what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna control J this layer. We're gonna bring this down behind them. And we're gonna, hold alt and you know bring it out a little bit we're gonna bring it downwards then we're gonna control u bring the lightness all the way down and we're even gonna bring it down more like this just so it's like a shadow we're gonna go to filter blur gaussian blur and probably like yeah around 20 to 30 percent bring it down 
like so and yeah now next thing the main thing we're going to be doing is working on adjustments now his neck is weird bro this shit just pisses me off i fuck this now the most important part about this to make this actually look good and professional and actually an album cover instead of like you know just something random is the adjustments uh that you put on top of it so you want to go ahead and grab a gradient map put this to black uh have a black and white and just put this to overlay just so we still have color um and already it's a crazy difference like it's it's even more professional now um we're gonna get a brightness contrast bring this up bring the contrast up too gonna get a curves now this is you know kind of messing up the colors a little bit but uh we're gonna go back in we're gonna you know make it all good now we're gonna make a new layer on top of uh you know this image right here now the fucking shadows got blown out a little bit but we're gonna make a new layer hold alt click in between grab a black brush and we are going to create a shadow like right here uh, we're gonna put this to so like linear light is something like i'm going for so like kind of like this darkish look now we can go in we can grab a vibrance bring the vibrance down just for the skin color because it's kind of like saturated just bring the vibrance down get the exposure in we can bring this up bring the offset up what i like to do is like literally just get rid of the first zero put a nine there makes a little sort of difference like kind of like a faded out look now we're gonna go to the bottom of these adjustments here and uh, we're just gonna do a solid color like so go to filter noise add noise and i like what i've been doing lately is keeping it you know colored uh but you can click monochromatic whatever you like i just like keeping it colored uh now put this to about 27 uh put this to like linear or not linear put this to overlay or soft light just like the two best in my opinion my humble opinion now if you guys are looking to upgrade your cover art, you know make some fire shit in literally seconds make sure you guys do go ahead and check out my ultimate adjustments pack basically what it is is hella different adjustment basically presets all in one pack so you can just filter through it bring your cover in here and just filter through them and i have really sick effects in here that you guys can you know use and experiment with yeah just really help you guys upgrade your style and shit like that so make sure you guys do go ahead and check out caution.com i'm also running a bow go buy one get one free sale for the rest of may so make sure you guys do lock in next thing i like to do is add like a texture i like paper textures and shit like that so yeah we're gonna go and grab a black market uh copy scan uh if you guys don't know what this is basically it's like one of the best textures for cover arts um i'm just gonna pick a random one i'm not really sure how this will look but should come out fire we're gonna put this like overlay like so you know something like that you can you know get different effects for all the different like blend modes so yeah just experiment with it like this is really really sick i really fuck with that but like it's more of an abstract kind of cover with this you know so you kind of just gotta you know be aware of this kind of like shit like you don't want to do nothing too crazy steer too away from your vision and shit your vision in mind but yeah this is pretty much it <coughs> and then obviously you know gotta add the parental advisory like so i like to have it in like the corners like wherever you know looks good but i like to put like any of the corners it doesn't really matter but i feel like this is really sick um but yeah that's basically it for today's video if you guys did enjoy this video i'm thinking of making this like a little series where i'm you know turn iphone pictures into coverts and yeah you know what fuck it even join the discord drop your iphone pictures in uh you know keep making these videos you know if you get picked you get picked if not fuck but yeah also follow me on ig you've been going crazy on there um 
yeah, I'm probably going to start live streaming every Saturday. So make sure you guys do have post notifications on for that. And yeah, peace.